everyone. Do y'all remember, uh, gosh, it was over a year ago, February 2nd, 2017. I, <coughs> excuse me, I decided to find out what pens wrote well on um, canvas and then did a real world experiment by throwing this canvas in my car to see how they would last over time. So this is my final uh, thing with this. I've brought this out of my car. I found it laying up in the back uh, window. Um, decided I've had enough of carrying it about. And so I thought I'd show you guys the final results. And then, uh, you know, I'm going to just over and use the canvas. But just to show you, I last on my last update, I had found all the pens. I don't remember when the last update was, but I had found all the pens and I had put a little mark next to where I had written this originally uh, on the first video, the, the name of the marker. And then on my second video, I had put a little mark next to it to show the difference, um, what a current, you know, bold line is. I tried finding all of these pens but I have used a lot of them and used them up uh, since then and some of them have gotten lost it's been a year I can't find them all so I thought I'll just do this and show you you know the the final product um, what has surprised me most two things has surprised me most and they're both here at the top of the page first off I knew that sharpies faded and I don't know if you can tell but the difference between this and this um, I believe I believe these were a few months apart five or six months apart and you can see a difference between this and this and if I were to put a regular sharpie uh, mark right here you would be able to tell that these have faded significantly um, what surprised me most was this Sharpie Fade Resist pen that's called Fade Resist is the worst one of all of them. That just sucks. It really does. That false advertising in my opinion, but you know, I'm not sponsored by Sharpie. That's clear, right? I'm not sponsored by anybody. Um, the Copic Multi, uh, did not seem to fade much, but it also didn't write very well on the um, textured surface of the canvas. Same with this, the Zig. Uh, the color stayed good, but the, the texture was bad. You really kind of need more of a felt tip pen rather than the hard uh, nib for drawing on canvas. I originally did this because somebody in the group had asked if they'd ever draw, used... Uh, you know, tangled on a canvas and what did they use? And so that's why I got the idea to, to even try this in the first place. Um, this surprised me the most. This Bic Market is nearly exactly the same color as when it started. Um, so if you were going to do a project that needed, that you were thinking, oh, I need to do this in Sharpie, um, Especially if it's going to be on a surface that might be outside, um, you know, on a rock or, you know, on a bench or something. Look at that. The Bic Markets did not fade. The, this Sharpie was the same color as this. And so was this, believe it or not. Was the same black as that. So um, don't use the Sharpies. I just don't recommend them. I love them as pens. They work great for various other things and they're fine for if you're going to do something as a temporary measure but you do need it permanent and you know you, they're they're not uh, going to wash off or whatever on your surface but if you want your um, pen to last any length of time this is only a year. So imagine that if uh, you know you had it for two years this fade resist would be completely gone. Um, the big market seems to be working really well. The caliber gel pen, which was just a uh, 
dollar store or uh, supermarket pen um, didn't write very well on the surface but the color seems to be okay same thing with the stabilo this one was my favorite in the way of thin see the big market doesn't have a very thin nib it's it's a pretty thick the pilot drawing pen in oil was my favorite and i think i, I do have that one let me show you what that one is um where did i put it is it up here uh that's the water-based one ah i'm not prepared here oh here it is this one i got it uh from jet pens but i'm sure you can find it elsewhere but it's this one the pilot drawing pen and it's got these it's in the purple thing with the squares. Their other pen, the water-based one, looks similar, but it's in a blue, and it's got, like, raindrops on the barrel instead of the square. So that's how I can tell them apart. Um, but, yeah, this was the the uh, oil-based one. Uh, I'll show you up close. Pilot drawing pen. And I've used this at work. Um, we had to mark our uh, shopping carts with our name and address as required by the city. And um, I used this and in real world, you know, shopping carts uh, take a lot of abuse. And uh, that it seems to be wearing well and it still is readable. Um, so anyway, I totally recommend that one. Um, the Roto Ring uh, was difficult to, to work on the canvas, but it's the color is still good. The Pilot Drawing Pen, the water-based one, the other one, was harder to write on the canvas, um, but the color is still good. Uh, same thing with the Le Pen Drawing Pen, the Unipin, Unipin Pro. Uh, the Stetler Pigment Liner worked fair on the canvas. Color is still really well the sharpie pen instead of the sharpie marker um the color hasn't faded like the sharpie markers the color has stayed good but it didn't work very well on the canvas surface it stayed wet and it smeared um even though i hadn't touched it right when it you know when it was dry drying i thought it was dry when i threw it in my car but you know the, you can see the canvas has gotten a lot of wear from me just you know grabbing it and throwing it and so forth and it, it, that sharpie pen has really kind of smeared quite a bit and then the micron pen of course didn't work very well and then the decories i was curious because they're sort of paint like but they didn't work very well on the on the canvas so anyway i just wanted to update you that this is the last i'm going to do of this real world experiment it took over a year and I just thought you guys might want to know the results and I think I'm done for uh, for this I'm going to uh, like I said I'm going to gesso over this a uh, couple of layers of gesso and use it for one of my paintings anyway I thought you guys might be interested before I gesso I will see you guys tomorrow or whenever I see you next and you guys have a great day bye bye